Hey guys, welcome back to my weekly videos. In this video for today, I wanted to talk to you guys about consumerism slash materialism and I wanted to share some insights because this is something I've recently had some revelation on for myself. So I wanted to share it with you guys if this is something that you have ever struggled with or if you know people who are struggling with this with, um, I guess like shopping for whatever it is, clothes, 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 makeup, hair, I'm gonna shop for hair. Whatever, you guys know what I'm talking about. Jewelry, makeup, cars. However, because my thing is more so clothes and I feel like a lot of females can relate to this, maybe males as well, um, I'm gonna focus more on clothes just as an example, but obviously you guys can like pick and choose from what I'm saying and maybe find something that, that you can relate to as well. Okay, so basically what I realized is that I found that I always wanted, I had such a long list of things that I wanted to buy and it was just never ending and it was constantly growing. And basically just to cut to it is as much as I love Instagram and Pinterest, I would spend a lot of time on there constantly looking for inspiration for quotes and whatever. But at the same time, always seeing things like clothing, jewelry, things I didn't even know existed that I wanted. And I was archiving a lot of that stuff, saving it and not only that, but just constantly consuming it subconsciously. I know that it was affecting me and making me believe that I didn't have enough and that I needed more. So after recognizing that, what I realized is that I needed to spend far less time on social media. So I think this is good for so many other reasons, but basically I just decided to, I go on and I do my posts and I answer messages, but I'm not gonna be mindlessly like scrolling through stuff because no matter what, whatever it is that we are constantly consuming, it is going to affect us in one way or another. The same way that a lot of us feel anxious or depressed when we're scrolling on social media because we're seeing everyone's highlights and it's making us feel really crappy about our own lives um, is the same way I believe that we can be looking at all of this stuff and feeling like we're not enough and we don't have enough. So that was one thing is spending far less time on social media and consuming these types of things. Um, another thing actually is closing ads. So whether it's on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, when ads would be popping up constantly for clothing, I would literally click hide this ad. Do not show me this ad. This ad is assaulting. This ad is inappropriate. Stuff like that. And I know this might seem kind of drastic, but also muting certain people because I would follow a lot of influencers on social media that are constantly doing clothing hauls. And I don't need to always see these clothing hauls and all the latest stuff because again, it's making us believe that we need, we need more when we don't. And again, it doesn't have to be clothing. It can be whatever it is that has been affecting you. So I think the more mindful that we can be of that, then the more that we can shield our eyes from these things <laughs> and um, not be brainwashed essentially. Something I wanted to share that was really practical when it came to shopping and clothing, if this is something that you guys have struggled with or struggle with and find helpful as well, is I actually got my journal out and I wrote out a list of the amount of events I go to in a week or what types of what my lifestyle is like in a week um, and what I'm going to be doing that month and even for that year and honestly it was pretty pathetic when I realized that in terms of like need wearing outfits I I generally am at work so I, I don't need an outfit for that or I'm at the gym and when I do go out it's generally like coffee or networking events which I have clothes for another thing that I did that was practical was that I just raided my own closet um, something I realized is that if a personal stylist were to come to my house and look through my closet for any of us, they would be able to put together so many outfits. So yes, that is an option. If some of us are not feeling confident in presenting ourselves well with our clothing, that is actually a cheaper alternative is to have a stylist come over and sort through your clothing and put outfits together. But anyways, I realized that if a stylist can do that, I should be able to put some outfits together as well. So basically just raided all my stuff. Um, I have a good relationship with my parents, so I raided my mom's closet and my dad's closet as well. And I'm like, look at that. I get to wear some new gold hoops. I have an oversized denim jacket that's my dad's. And you find so many things in your own closet that you forgot that you had. It's, it's like you're going shopping again. Um, and just getting creative with how you can pair certain things together. But here is the most important part out of all of this because as much as I think it's important to like do the practical aspects of using you know using what we have in front of us and all of that kind of stuff I think that's really important but I think the most important question to ask ourselves is what do we think this is doing for us when we have a brand new outfit when we have that like Instagrammable outfit 
um, when we always have to have something new. What do we feel like that's doing for us? Do we feel as if that is adding to our value? It's, I think it's an individual thing where like, yes, it's okay to be passionate about certain things and to express ourselves through our clothing and that can be very artistic and it's okay to like nice things but not to the point where it's making us anxious or it's putting us into debt or it's making us rack up our credit cards and making us feel less than if we don't have these things so that was the main point that i wanted to make is as important as it is to have these practical steps um, the most important part i think is getting down to the root of it all as hard as it is this is like a very hard concept to accept um, for a lot of people because of what we're shown in society but um, whether we have nice clothing or nice cars or whatever it is it actually doesn't change the value of who we are and that's something that um, it, it takes it can take a long time to learn but the more that we share these types of messages the more that I believe that it will sink in and it will just transform our hearts and I wanted to read a quick scripture about this which is Matthew 6 verses 25 this is why I tell you to not worry about everyday life whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing so thank you guys so much for watching this video if there's someone that you think would like this video then please send it their way and I will see you guys next week bye